PowerMill is now able to read text files directly into PowerMill via a macro. Let me open up a very simple text file. So this file, the first line simply says this is the first line of the text file, then this is the second line of the text file, then I've got seven further lines, much shorter, just with third line, fourth line, etc. So I want my macro to read in these uh, lines of text into variables within the macro. So let's open up the debugger. Here is the macro. The first thing I do is create a simple string variable. This can be used to read in a single line of the file. Then I'll create a second string, string variable, this one called $line2. Empty, the same as the last one. That will be used to read in the second line of the file. Now I don't know how many lines are in this file perhaps, so instead of uh, reading one line at a time, I'm going to create what we call a string list. Now a list, uh, this particular list is a string list, so it can contain multiple strings. Uh, I'm calling it $tool underscore data, uh, and I'm making it empty, the same as the last two. So if we look in the debugger, uh, on the right hand side we've got our list and two strings. So the next thing to do is to open up the text file for read. This is, the, this is the line file open, then we've got the path name to the text file. Um, so I'm opening for read as in file. Now in file is just a handle. You can use any word here. It's not really important. You will refer to that particular word in the, in the next commands. So we open up the file. Then I'm going to read part of the file into our string variable line 1 from in file. That is the handle that we gave the file. So because it's a, a single string variable, it will only read one line from the file. So let's when I, just before I click uh, execute that line, let's take a look at the watch window. Then I will execute that line, and I can see that the data from the text file has gone into that variable. Then if I execute the next line, line two is done. Um, now, as I said, I'm not sure how many lines are in this file, which is why I've created a list, a string list. So I'm going to file read into the string list from in file. Now this will take in all of the lines from the file. And there you can see it's a plus and it's read in all of the remaining lines. So if I execute the next line, file close in file, that will close the file. You must close it after opening it. And then I'm going to print a message to the user telling us what is in line one, then a carriage return line feed, so a new line, then what is in line two, then a new line, and then uh, on a single line I'm going to put uh, the tool data in the third line with a new line, uh, then the next line with a new line, then the next line with a new line. So this is simply referring to items within the list, and the list always starts at zero. So uh, let's execute that line, there you can see that the message is popped up. So if I just run that macro from the start, you'll see it's actually very quick. Now, let's take a look at something a little more practical. I'm going to open up another text file, and this is a, a comma-separated file, so it's opened up in Microsoft Excel. Uh, now this file has got uh, a small header, and then it's got uh, some tooling data. So it's got the name of several tools the diameter, tip radius, length, number of flute, step down, step over, feed rate, uh, spindle speed and taper angle which is used for drills. Okay, So I'm going to uh, run that particular macro and this macro asks me to select the file so I'll just select that file toollist.csv Now what, what it's doing is it's creating a series of tools from that data uh, so it's just created them. It's the second time I've executed it, so it's actually made duplicates from before. And you'll see that now I have uh, about 12 tools. If I run it again, it'll simply create another copy. So if I just run that macro, uh, select the file, and come back into here, and you'll see it's creating the file, uh, the tools from that text file. So it can be a very nice way of reading tooling sheets that perhaps your tooling supplier has supplied to you 
uh, and getting that data very quickly and accurately into PowerMail.